in this video we are back playing find the simpsons so we're going to start off with shocked maggie and it says somewhere inside the pedia index And of course, there she is located with Mom Marge. Out the back of the Simpsons house. The only wood around that I can think of to burn. And I absolutely love these new updates. All of these new updates, you die. <laughs> they are so cool. So obviously we're going to set the treehouse ablaze and then we're going to end up dying. <laughs> and then our ghost rises up but then we can then get the new update of Fireman Homer. So this video is not in any order. I've literally just done it in the order that I thought would be quite easy to follow. So again, staying at the Simpsons house, you need to run over the sand pit and Escape Maggie is there outside of the dome. If you've ever seen the Simpsons movie, you will know that the big glass dome was placed over Springfield. And again, I just absolutely love, I'm about three updates behind. I can't believe how many updates I've missed now. Um, but we're catching up, we're catching up people. Um, I absolutely love every single one of these updates this um, this creator's done. Um, I've enjoyed all the different elements they've brought to it. It's been interesting, new and fun with every update. And I am looking forward genuinely to the next one. Every single time I've played this and finished the last update, I want the next one. If you haven't played this game before, you will not be disappointed. So we've moved around from the Simpsons next door to the Flanders house. And there we have the phone. I mean, this would not be an advert for an iPhone if this happened. <laughs> Don't answer your phone in the bath, you know, start warning packet on the box of an iPhone. <laughs> but we've answered a call in the bath, we drop the phone in, and we are electrocuted. <laughs> oh, I love this scripting and the stories. I mean, this is fabulous. I don't know why the bike appears. Um, that's a bit random. <laughs> However, there is electrocuted Lisa, oh poor Lisa, electrocuted Lisa in the corner of the bathroom. Making our way outside, you'll see a coin in the middle of the room. <laughs> don't, don't pick up coins in the middle of the road, people. This is obviously a warning of what could happen. You could get mowed down by the school bus. <laughs> oh, these are comical. I love them. But again, we have now died and there is our ghost going up to heaven again. <laughs> but we've got dead Bart. And there have been loads more morphs added to the spawn area. So you can have some fun and dress up as some of the characters. Making our way on top of the school, we find the axe. <laughs> and I am the world's worst axe thrower by the looks of it. <laughs> and it bounces back and <laughs> cuts my head off. <laughs> I mean, that's just funny. 
the scripting on this new update is brilliant. I've never seen a finder game with this kind of stuff in it. There is a slight delay. Uh, there is a slight delay in the time that it actually pops up and then you can move again. Just bear with it. Out the back of the school where we had the baseball pitch um, and you've got uh, groundskeeper Willie inside of his shed we have the spade. This is for the scavenger hunt um, of Bart, Lisa and Maggie. And they mention in the clue about getting rich, so of course we're going to be going to Mr. Burns. The Springfield um, trash heap has now turned into a Christmas area, which is a lovely touch for this festive season. But we have found X marks the spot, and you just need to click on the teleport spawn to get back out of there. Going back to the nuclear power plant, obviously where you're going to entrap Homer with the kind of poison donuts, the bad donuts, there it is. And again, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> so we eat the donut. And is that like the world's worst, most poisonous fart? <laughs> It looks, I've just emanated this green gas <laughs> and I've died. <laughs> oh, that wouldn't sell me donuts if you're going to have a poisonous fart afterwards. We now have the introduction of Lard Lad Donuts. And of course, that age old joke of the police officers being around the donuts. Of course, we found Chief Wiggum. Going up the Lard Lad outside, and of course, we've got Lard Lad Donuts himself. I'm quite surprised there isn't one that says, like, mmm, donuts. Moving next door, we have another one of the new scripts, so we know we're going to be in to die. <laughs> I love these. I can't say how much I love them. They're so funny. And we have a sniper. And again, he's taking our head off. <laughs> But we can get Sniper Homer. Outside of Krusty Burger, the sign has now actually become something we can collect. We'll have a look round the Christmas area now. I mean, they didn't need to change that, but what a lovely touch for Christmas to put this in. I wonder if the Snowy Maggie will be a kind of event one, because obviously after Christmas, I'm assuming they're gonna have to turn that back to the trash heap, I don't know. We have another new area of King Toots Music Store. And again, like the cinema, we have to be a morph. Well, who likes music in The Simpsons? And it is Lisa. So we just have to pop back to spawn and go and morph into Lisa. Uh, 
And there we have it, the door opens. To find all of the rest of the items in the music store, you need to click on the saxophone with the colourful music notes and that will actually make you miniature. I mean, what a fantastic update this is. No update has been the same on this game. It is absolutely brilliant. So inside the saxophone, we can go up and go and get Dewey, which is obviously the orchestra teacher. And we have what looks like these massive croquet mallets. But we have a plane in the window. So if you climb the saxophone again, you can get up onto the ledge. So when you step on one of the coloured pads, the colour coordinated mallet will hit you somewhere in the map. Like a total noob, I didn't see the pattern on the back of the piano. So the green button will reset the keys if you do press one incorrectly, just keep running over it, it will reset it. So you have to match the black keys with the um, notes at the back. So obviously I made a little mistake there, so we'll just reset the piano again. And I love the fact it's a mix of puzzle and obby for this game. So I half expected um, Bart to pop up, what you need to do is go over and press the button again when you've got the right keys selected. And there we have it. You can remove the Lisa Moore for any time. So to the left of the piano you have Bart Rat. And inside the saxophone we have our first music note. So we need five music notes to open up to get the mythical Maracas Maggie. So that is number one. Stay inside the piano, there is another gap and that will take you through to Vader Bart or Bart Vader. If you do get stuck with any of these or any of the other ones in my previous videos, Please do drop me a comment, I will always try and help you the best I can. Obviously quite hard when I can't see your screen, but I'll always try and help if I can do. If you do like this video or any other from Judgment TV, please help support the channel and hit that subscribe button. So we have collected Spider Bart. And then we've got a bit of a trampoline to go over.
and I just saved to these. They are spaced out, but you do need to be on the edge of the trampoline in order to get from one to the other. I did fall off a couple of times. I'm not going to lie. And as you can see, I haven't structured this in the order that I found them. I've structured it in a way that I hope is easier to follow. We have our second music note up here on the light. What I didn't realise is that I couldn't get back over to go and get electrocuted Bart. So we've had to jump down and we will just make our way back up there. So we have our third music note over here on the guitar. But of course we have an item to collect there so we're going to have to pop back and just finish off that obby.
I'm going to have to watch some of these episodes again because I can't remember some of these ones. I don't remember Rockstar Homer. I came out here and I was like, what is this out here? <laughs> but look at the background. Like, the attention to detail on this game. Although it looks pretty simplistic on kind of face value, just look at the attention to detail of what they've put outside as the map. I can't rate this game high enough. Like, you really have to try it and support the game. I want more updates. <laughs> Just having a scout round, see if I could see any more whilst I was there. It doesn't matter if you fall all the way down, there are jump pads to get back up to the top as you can see there on the bottom. If you fall off completely, I don't know what's going to happen, you probably go back to spawn. It wasn't something I was intending on trying out. But hopefully they have put a croquet mallet to get you over to the other side of the roof. Fast travel. And behind the curtain we have our fourth music note. There might be other ways of getting onto the drum kit or you might collect these in a different way yourself. I'm literally just showing you my gameplay of how I collected all these items. And we've found our fifth music note. So that is all the music notes you need to get the Moroccan Maggie. Up the flying bee now. And we are going to get Teen Homer. So I stupidly got this one when I wasn't recording by accident. Um, so this is how you get Fall Homer. And as we have all five music notes, we can go and get Maggie. And we have another new area of the stone cutters. I actually had forgotten about these. 
That's how long it's been since I've watched The Simpsons. What a great addition to this game. Round the back, you will see the kind of Stonecutter's Mose bar. The front door to the Stonecutter's is a code. Um, it's not complicated, but Homer will tell you it. Uh, the code is 12345. Very obvious. I should have just tried that, really. <laughs> And we are now in the stone cutters. So there's a cut another code door, which obviously yeah, we have to try and put some colours in. And there are four levers to get in the royal bedroom. This is quite a big area, people. So it's not going to be a quick win on this one. So there are two paths to take in this room. So we'll go straight ahead first. And we have Sheep Marge. I'd say I haven't seen much of Marge in these updates. It'd be nice to have one of her storylines um, somewhere. And we have the first lever. And we have our second lever. So I was being a bit thick and thinking that you, know, you run through and kind of either avoid the, the path, but the path is there to guide you where to walk on the kind of transparent platform above because I am a total noob I didn't get that straight away so we have to find the buttons in the room so yeah don't try and actually just like jump over to them just click them <laughs> look at the scripting on this it's brilliant I literally can't wait to see what else is going to be put into this game And that is that pathway finished. So we obviously need to go back through and take the door to the left. And I am amazed I caught that first time. <laughs> I was not anticipating catching that truss whatsoever. Ok, 
keep my eyes peeled for that next lever. And I do like the fact they do have checkpoints. Um, sometimes it can be a bit of annoying if you go all the way back to spawn or have to start the entire thing all over again. I know it ups the challenge a bit, but... I mean, the characters they've thought of. I can't remember that King Snorky. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch these again. So with these paddles, don't stand too near the edge um, unless you're going to make a move because when the paddle goes up, you are going to drop off. Just a little hint, I did do that a couple of times. And we found our third lever. We're going to tackle the code door. So the code is amber, red, green. And again, just go right near the edge of the platform. And we have the stone cutter's book on the shelf. We know that's going to do something. Wasn't expecting it to be a trap door. This is pretty cool. And we are through to number one's bedroom. So, we made it to the, the royal bedroom door without that last lever and I literally went back through the maps and there it is. I walked straight past it. Now we've just got to quickly run back through. And there is Queen Lisa. So for the mage one it says mirror mirror. So go through the mirror. Now this is quite a 
<laughs> a long section it's so well built um but it's gonna be a little journey to get there i would recommend going down on the kind of left or right hand side the reason being is you will come up against this wall um and die <laughs> <laughs> you need to go down towards the left. I didn't realise there was a little gap. And this developer has done stuff like this um, previously in their game. So you've got the skateboard one um, and in Find the Walls there's something very similar. But this has just elevated this dodge uh, kind of run to a whole new level. So again we've got the invisible path so a single jump won't do it I'd recommend a double jump and then the path stops and you've got to look up this is where it's so disorientating for me And again, we've got to find the buttons to create the path. Again, that zoom out feature to the game really helps with that. And the other one is just above your head. And we have Mage Homer. And then lastly, we can't forget about Stonecutter Arnie. And you just need to make your way up to the roof of the Stonecutter building. And by the dome is the helicopter. And there we have it, another fabulous set of updates from this developer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you soon. Bye.